What a beautiful way to start a Monday morning. really big so how nice does this look though look at that shine oh baby it's just a lot i'm just watching frozen this morning with little spaz and then i'm going to do some gardening we are just doing some repotting here in our household so i bought this plant from the markets this morning this is beautiful i i don't know what it's called but <laughs> stunning Does. Ta -da. Lovely. Dal's out there doing the dirty work. Okay, anyways, so what I. Hello. Basically, I just wanted to quickly jump on and like chat to you about something. So I just want to say that I am so close to 100 subscribers. I think I'm on like 93 subscribers. And I'm so excited about that because honestly, I've been filming things and never posting them or if I have posted them, I have now privated them. So don't go searching. I'm super excited about this. It feels like it feels like a bit of a milestone. I feel like I just have so many more videos that I want to start creating and sharing with you and doing all that good stuff. But anyways, what I've been thinking about is doing these vlogs are so fun and I will not stop doing the vlogs because I'm really enjoying having all the footage for like the memes and stuff. I do want to start providing you guys with kind of content that has a little bit of substance to it. So what I was thinking of doing was I'm going to keep making and posting vlogs. My goal I think is to post on a Monday after the weekend or a Sunday night or on a Friday or a Thursday so I can vlog throughout the whole week. I'm wanting to provide a lot of fitness content, health content, heaps of cooking. As you may have seen in my videos so far that cooking is a massive part of my life. I love it. And so is working out. So yeah, so I'm very lifestyle based. I provide, I've provided pretty much in every vlog almost a workout that I do during the day. And I just want to preface, I'm not a PT and that's why I'm not giving you like too much information on fitness because I'm not qualified in it. I did do the course. The only, I did all the theory work. The only part I didn't do was giving a class, which I got a little bit too nervous about. But anyways, I'm not a qualified PT. I do work out regularly. So it's just a part of my day. It's a part of my week. And I really wanted to put a segment of a workout that I did during my week in my vlogs, which I feel like I've been doing. I want to make like more cooking segments. I've done heaps of cooking throughout my vlogs, but I've never given a recipe that I've done. Vegetarian, of course. Oh yeah, and obviously you guys have seen a lot of my boyfriend Tristan. We just celebrated our five year anniversary, so I feel like a lot has happened in that five years that we would have a lot to share and to talk about and you know, things we've learned. So it would be fun to bring him into the videos more and I know he is keen to as well so that'd be nice and also like his mum can see it she lives in Perth and yeah basically filming these videos I'm really enjoying being able to look back on them and remember what I've done I have struggled a lot with anxiety over the years definitely more so recently it's become quite suffocating and what I have found with these videos is that me video logging everything, keeping myself up to date with what I'm doing and like remembering like, oh, you did that, like you have done something, has really been helping me with my anxiety. Filming this for me is so much bigger than just what you see. So I just wanted to say that it's a massive motivation for me to keep going. So I really appreciate everybody who's subscribed and everybody who watches. I love you all. And I know it's only my family and friends pretty much, but I love you all so much. Like, 
anyways, on to the vlog. So basically, what I wanted to show you today was my DIY moisturizer. It's a moisturizer, but what I like to call it is a body mask. What I mean by mask is you pretty much douse yourself in it, and then you go to bed and you wake up and you're just like, you're just like, whoop, 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 whoop. I just wanted to share with you the recipe. It's only two ingredients. I fake tan like a lot. My skin is very dry if I don't take care of it. So this is something that I have kind of pulled together over the years. Moisturizer just doesn't cut it. It's not strong enough. And it's not like, it's not moist enough. Okay, this lighting is a bit unfortunate. We just will ignore it. I'm just going to sit really close. My blue light is here and it's, it's helping a lot. Bear with me, the sun is going down and we are running out of time. What I wanted to show you was this organic shea butter. Shea butter? Shea butter? Shea butter? Why am I saying butter that way? <laughs> butter? I don't know. This stuff, I bought this off the internet. It is 100% natural, pure and certified organic unrefined share butter. I got it in the two kilogram tub. I will link this website below for anybody who is curious. It just looks like this on the inside. It's very, it's quite stiff. It's very, yeah, I don't know. It's very, it's quite hard. So that's the share butter. That will be the base. We have like a massive jar of organic coconut oil. And then, oh, this recipe has three ingredients, not two, sorry. What I also like to use is glycerin. Anything that you put in this recipe is completely optional, but I choose to have glycerin because of how moisturizing it is and because of how dry my skin is like on my body. This stuff is really, really good for home DIY moisturizing products. Okay, so I've just looked it up on Dr. Google. What it talks about is the benefits of glycerin. It says it's a cleanser, toner, moisturizer. It can treat acne, treat blackheads, treat dry skin, wrinkles, skin lightening, heel cracked heels, scar removal. It's non-toxic and it may provide a small amount of SPF. Of course, I thought it was only right that I would put it in my DIY home moisturizer recipe. I'm actually not going to make any today only because I still have some left. Once you've blended, so all you'll need to do is blend half a cup of coconut oil and one cup of shea butter. I probably put two tablespoons of glycerin in. I have some here and I did just want to share this with you guys. I will link in the description below the websites that I got all of these products off. This is what it looks like once you've blended it all together. It's um quite stiff. The reason why you wouldn't use this, this actually looks quite gross. <laughs> the reason why you wouldn't use this as just like a daily moisturizer is because it is quite oily. It doesn't soak into your skin quick enough for you to kind of keep going without anything sticking to you, which sucks but that's why I only use it at night and so basically what I'll do is I'll have a shower have a shave whatever you need to do and then just apply it in a like a little bit goes a long way with this stuff because it is so thick so I'll basically just rub my whole body in this go to sleep and I'll wake up in the morning I can't even explain it to you like you just feel so soft and supple see I'll just show you what I mean by it leaves really greasy. So that's it like as fully rubbed in as I'll get it and see how it just leaves really greasy and you'll actually stay like that for quite a while. It's actually just easier to go to bed in it, let it soak in and when you wake up you feel so delicious. So yeah, give it a try and let me know what you think. I would love to know. I'd also love to know if you added anything or, you know, if anybody can figure out how to get this less greasy, that would be amazing. I just wanted to share that with you. That was just like a quick little thing I thought I would chuck in this vlog. Anyways, on to the next part.
Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh above the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smokers in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention So you were saying, oh no I don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby, you are something special, I'm sure Next to me For those of you who don't know, Tristan and I love a good barbecue. What have we got going on in here? Some onion action. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have olive bread with, we're having a vegan barbecue tonight. We're having these. These are so good. But this is what they look like outside of the packet. They kind of look like meat too. Mm -mm. These are probably the closest tasting meat substitute I've ever come across. Highly recommend. And um, yeah, let's get them on. Look at this. Oh wait, I forgot the beef. I forgot the vegan beef. There's not yet, yeah, that's what I mean. There's no <laughs> I will rectify this problem. There we go. Nope, now they're looking a little bit sad. This is a massive fail. <laughs> All right, <laughs> there we go, a vegan beef burger. <laughs> Trust me, it tastes a lot better than it looks. This looks very bizarre. <laughs> Right next to me. 